Hey guys, it's Thomas, in honor of the new Star Wars movie coming out, The Last Jedi, I've decided to print something Star Wars themed. Let's get started. So the model I have for you today is an X-Wing. Um, I was inspired by James Over at Print and Play to make something Star Wars themed on his latest Make Model Monday series episode. So, I don't know who this was designed by, I can't remember, the details are good, as so, it's an X-Wing Starfighter. So, let's get to the print settings. I printed this at 0.15mm layer height. It printed great. I printed it at 50mm a second. And it um, was printed at 210 degrees centigrade. And it turned out successful. But I, um, it's kind of wobbling, and I need a new nozzle for my 3D printer. So I'll be getting that soon. This was my first attempt. The speed was too high, so the... Razor guns fell off. I don't need this. Bye. So, um, I, as I said, I noted the print settings. So, it's a really detailed model. You can see the engines. It prints in, um, I forgot to say, it prints in two pieces that flat on the print, but no supports required, even though there will be some things that are so small that say they need support, but they don't. It's a really easy model to print. As I said, I need a new nozzle. And so these are the laser guns. There's the thing. But the wings are not separated, um, which um, means it's like in a parked position. It's still a really good model. And there's little bumps on the front for some reason. There's so the cockpit, um, the signature long front. As I said, the wings aren't separated, but there's still a little dot, so you can see those two wings um, four totaled. And you can see R2-D2 here, which were, I thought was pretty hilarious, so. In honor of the new Star Wars movie, I printed this. Um, so I figured that they probably don't have them, because I actually haven't watched the trailer to the new movie. So you might be asking, why are you uploading this video? So, it's a really good model. It's got the engines, and I just super glued it together. But these are prone to fall off. So I had to super glue this one right when I was getting the super glue, it just fell off. So it was printed on my CO10 3D printer. If you want one of those, I'd highly suggest you get one. But don't buy it from Gear Best. So, hope you enjoyed this episode of Thingiverse Thursday. And I hope it inspired you to make something Star Wars or make this model. So, I'm Thomas. Be sure to smash that like button and don't forget to click subscribe and notifications. Bye!